Hey kids, we're here at the sanctuary in St. John's, and I know that you're way up there and I'm way down here, but I wanted to show you something on the entire uh, inside of the building, so we want to get the whole thing in one shot. Um, now in this sanctuary, we've talked a little bit about how it looks like a boat that's been flipped upside down, helping us remember uh, Noah's Ark, where God saved uh, the people from the great flood, and also um, the boats in the New Testament, um, like when Jesus walks on water out to the disciples and, and tells them to stay in the boat and, and things like that. So um, there the church reminds us um, that we are in God's ark, we're in God's boat, and we're safe in God's hands. Uh, but there's another feature of, of the building here that will also teach us something about God. Now, as you look out at the sanctuary, you'll notice these wooden uh, beams coming up and around, uh, and they eventually form the rafters of the church. Uh, but you see those space, they're spaced out even uh, down the wall. Now, these, these wooden beams sometimes are called frames. Now, in a house, when you frame a house, that's part of building that house so that it doesn't uh, fall down on you. Uh, but when we talk about frames in the sanctuary, I want you to think also about picture frames. Now, when you look in a picture frame, what do you see? Well, obviously, you see the picture in the middle of the picture frame. So imagine that these uh, frames of the sanctuary are a picture frame. When you look into the picture frame, what do you see? Well, you see the front of the church, and that's kind of the point. But, but here's another thing. There's multiple frames. Um, so when you're here, um, you see a little farther closer to the front of the church, and then you step into the next frame, and you see a little bit more of the church. Uh, but what happens when you step into this last frame? You see this frame is kind of set apart, this big white arch. Well, when you step into this frame, uh, the very last thing you see is the altar. And on Sunday morning, you would see the altar with the bread and wine on it, uh, prepared to be Jesus' body and blood. Uh, so what the church is trying to teach is that at church, when you walk into the sanctuary for the divine service, uh, you're stepping into a new uh, view of the world. You're stepping into a new reality. Uh, you're moving out from the outside, the picture of the world out there, and you're moving closer and closer with these frames uh, to heaven itself. And this happens when you sit down, and, and you become really close to heaven when you hear the word of God uh, spoken from the lectern and, and preached from the pulpit. Uh, but finally, when the time that we get up to the altar, the time of the Lord's Supper, uh, well, that's really like you're stepping into heaven. You are stepping into heaven. Uh, you're stepping into the throne of God. The angels, archangels and all the company of heaven are there, and you're receiving Christ's body and blood, uh, where all those saints of heaven are gathered. Uh, so you see here, we step closer and closer, and this frame here makes it really obvious. We are stepping from earth to heaven. Now back in the old days, uh, people of the church would actually, when it came time for communion, uh, they would step up into this frame, and they would come here uh, at this altar rail. Um, similar, like we pull the rail out here, well, there's a little um, rail that comes forward so people can sit all the way across. But now, you know, um, a lot of our congregation members have a hard time walking up steps, so it's just so much easier to come down here. Um, and also, there's a lot bigger of, of rail space here than here, so we go down here. But the, the point is the same. When you get closer to the front of the church, blood is given to you, um, you're really on earth on one side and heaven on the other.
This frame being like this also reminds us of that same point, but it helps us remind us of the temple. You remember in the temple, we did a, a video on the temple once, where there was three different sections. Um, there was the holy place, the very holy place, and the most holy place. Uh, the holy of holies, that's where the Ark of the Covenant was. Um, that's where, where God's presence was. That's where the high priest went in once a year uh, to bring the sacrifice in on the Day of Atonement. Um, and then out he went for another year. And you know at, at the Holy of Holies, there is a big curtain separating um, everywhere else in the temple from the Holy of Holies. That was the curtain that when Jesus died on the cross uh, was torn from top to bottom. It's like God himself was tearing him from top to bottom. And he opened up the Holy so everybody could look inside. But the point was, Jesus died for our sins. He's our once and for all sacrifice. There doesn't need to be any more sacrifices uh, in that altar in the Holy of Holies. Now everybody can walk up and receive the once and for all sacrifice by receiving the body and blood of Jesus. Uh, so maybe at church, at the divine service, uh, when, when the Lord's Supper time comes, imagine a curtain hanging right and imagine that it's ripped in two and spread wide open because we're allowed to look right into heaven to be in Jesus presence to be in God the Father's presence because of that body and blood that's with us um, so that's a little bit about these frames of the church and, and why they're here for a reason and they're here to, to teach us uh, that lesson uh, that, that here in the divine service we are moving closer and closer to heaven and, and actually even facing the joy of heaven uh, here at our Lord's Supper.